Well, to me, belly dancing is art in motion. It is your connection with the musician, your connection with the recorded track. It's your connection with your body, your mind, your soul. I am absolutely in love with this dance. However, I want to say, do not, under any circumstances, use Groupon if, if, if your main priority for your class What's up, Asenia Motherland Jam's Belly Dance. Today I want to talk to you about how to grow your classes on a budget. So grab your green juice, come back, and let's chat. Okay, so the first option I think is Groupon. However, I want to say do not under any circumstances, use Groupon if, if, if your main priority for your class is profit. If you are really trying to scale, Groupon, in my opinion, is not the way to go. They take a massive percentage of your classes, right? So if you're charging maybe like $30 for six classes, they're going to half that and they're going to take 15 of that and it's going to go bye-bye and you're only going to get 15 and sometimes, randomly in the month, they cut that $30 down to like $18 and you'd only get nine for all those classes. So think about it, but Groupon is a great way to grow your class in the beginning if you're really just trying to get people in. Because the thing is, in the beginning, you get a lot of people. Those people can write great reviews for you. They can give you ideas on what they really want to see in the class, which take that with a grain of salt because everything does not work for you and you got to remember you're the business owner. But... Groupon will help you grow your classes. It'll get people in because people love a good deal, right? So even though they slash your classes and the prices and all that kind of stuff, you don't have to do any of the marketing. It boosts your SEO, I believe, because you'll have your website on the Groupon website. I found that it brings a lot of people who actually do stay. Not a whole bunch, but some people who are still in the class to this day started the class on a Groupon because they wanted to see what it was like and they continued on into 2024, which is great. Groupon, however, is not great, like I said, if you're trying to bring in like the big bucks, you're trying to grow the people, Groupon for sure. Okay, so another really great way, of course, is by creating Facebook events because they're free. You put them online, you invite people you know or invite people that are interested. You can run ads. I don't know very much about running ads. Like I've done them before, I've had some success, I've had some failures, so I don't really wanna give advice on that. But if you know how to run ads or you know someone who does really well with them, you can run them, small amount of money, get your name out there and grow your class. People like seeing it as an event because they're like, this is something I have to look forward to. Facebook events also reminds people that they signed up for this event and they're more likely to come. And going off of that, you can use Eventbrite for the same thing because you can put Eventbrite on, put your event on Eventbrite and send it out to people via their email. Um, people discover events on Eventbrite all the time. I've had people come in from out of town that found me on Eventbrite and joined me in an event or a class. It's a really great free way for you to market your class. The Now Eventbrite is charging a fee, but it's only when you're trying to sell more than 25 tickets. So if you're trying to sell more than 25 tickets and it doesn't charge you that much, it's maybe like $10 or something like that. So keep that in mind. So we talked about Eventbrite. Class Pass is another really great way to grow your class quickly because it's free. So reach out to them. Gym Pass would be cool, but I don't think they're accepting people right now. I don't know, or maybe they only accept certain size gyms. I don't know, I know that I wasn't accepted. I, I don't offer that many classes, so it's completely fine. But when it comes to growing your class, in the beginning, you may not have, you know, the capital that you will eventually have. These are really great way to do this, ways to do this. And of course, word of mouth is wonderful. You can create reward systems for people in class and let them know, hey, the more people you bring with you to class, the more free classes that you can earn. And if they really like the class, that'll be a great incentive for them. You know what I mean? So Having recitals also seems to be a really great way to grow your class because it's advertising. People are seeing like, oh wow, you know, they're tap dancing over there. I would like to learn, so I'm going to join that class. 
I haven't had very many recitals, but I see people doing them and they seem to do really well because it gets your name out there. People like, I didn't know that this, you know, underwater basket weaving class existed until I went to the recital for it. And now I'm hooked. So those are a few ways where you can definitely grow your class on a budget or grow your business on a budget. I know a lot of times we think that it takes money to make money, but honestly, it takes good energy to call money and abundance into you. And I want us to keep that in mind. I want you to realize that the service that you offer is something that someone else needs. Keep telling yourself that. Convince yourself that what you have is what someone else is looking for. Do what makes you happy while you're involved in your business, okay? So when you're teaching your class, be there fully in that class. Weave those baskets, okay? With a smile on your face <laughs> and enjoy what you're doing. Don't allow people to annoy you because they will try. People will have all these requests. Do what is best for you. Most of all, do something that brings you joy today. Bye, everyone. I'm Misha, and I am a, I guess a student here at May, May, um, Mother Jam's Belly Dance. Um, I'm just here to say that I'm very, very happy to be here. I love it. It's very, um, I love, it's just, everybody here is really nice. Abigail is wonderful. She teaches great. And, um, well, I continue to be here, of course. Every, every time I come here, I learn something new. Um, so I encourage people to come here, you know, whenever you have a chance. <laughs>